Hello everyone, this is Amanda Smithfield, librarian at Hume Fogg, and today I'm going to go over some general things you can do with Microsoft Excel, and the purpose is if you have an Excel project uh, where you can kind of learn how to use some of the functions. Now let me start by saying that there are multiple ways to do something, and so just because I do something one way, does not mean that that is the only way to do something. Um, as long as your answer ends up being the same, then, hey, it's all good. There's multiple ways to do something. So let's start by showing you, okay, so I've set up a, a general um, restaurant here, and I have prices. I've gone through and I highlighted things. Um, I do want to show you a couple things that, commonly um, kids have trouble with. One of them is how do you um, have the, um, how can you have this where it is the, um, the dollar signs come in and I want to show you all how to do that. So it's pretty easy. I'm just going to click this, click up at the top. You know when you click up at the top it highlights the entire column. And now I'm going to go up here and you can see here that there are different choices here. So I can pick currency, I can pick general. So obviously because I'm talking about money, I want currency. Okay? Now the other thing I want to show you guys is right up here. People often, you know, they're like, how did you do that? You know, so um, one thing you really need to learn how to do is to how to format a cell. Okay, um, so um, also one thing is that you noti notice here that you do not do, um, that you can do stuff here, but it's, it's really showing up here when you do something. So I'm going to type this in again. Um, and there we go. Now uh, it's, and it's showing up bold down here, so um, that's great. Uh, now you notice here that... Um, it's kind of going over two. So that how how did I do that? Well, if you right click and then you left click on format cells, then one thing you can do is under alignment you can do this thing called merge cells. So that's a pretty cool thing to do, and it makes it kind of seamlessly go there. So, okay, so I have my prices in, and the first thing I need to do is I've set up a place for individual total. Now, I do not want to have to use a calculator here. I don't want to have to figure it out in my head. Um, so I'm going to use my little function box here. Um, there's also this really cool auto someone. You could use that too. But I'm going to do it just like this. And it's going to bring up the most common ones. And so obviously I'm doing a sum here. I'm going to add up what are the prices of all these. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to see, does that seem right? Now notice it goes by numbers. It does a default here. So um, this is C4. So this is saying it's C4 to C7 it's adding. So I go C4, C5, C6, C7. Well that's absolutely correct. So I'm going to hit OK and voila, it tells me my individual total. So I'm going to do the same thing in each of these spots. Now, and now if it does it wrong, if it's doing the wrong spots, you, you're going to have to go and fix that. So I'm making real careful sure here that it's doing the right spots. C10, C11, C12. That's right. Okay. Same thing down here. Okay. So I'm doing my nice little sum. Okay. And I'm making sure C15. Yep. That's right. Okay, um, so I've added in, you know, now I'm probably going to go and bold these, you know, um, my, my prices from each of my three, um, my three um, people. So now I need the group total. So how much does all this add up to? Well, let's, let's see if I can vary this out again. Now, once again, I don't need a calculator. This is the awesome thing about Excel. It's totally going to do it for me. So once again, I'm going to hit that awesome function key, which is a sum. Okay, so the question is, what am I summing here? And I'm going to sum this one, right? And I'm going to sum this one, right? And I'm summing this one. And I hit OK. Shazam! 
Isn't that awesome? Okay, so it totally does that for me. That's awesome. Just click it. Okay, now, this gets more complicated, and I do not want to give it away. Okay, but right now, I have to figure out how much tax it is, and I have to add that on. So to do that, you need to convert your percent into a decimal, okay? So I have to convert the uh, percent into a decimal, okay? And then I use product, which is another name for multiply, to help me do that. Now, let's say I don't know how to do that, okay? I'm going to click out here, and I'm here like, I don't even know what to do. Okay, so I'm going to type in, I'm here like, well, what, you know, how do I figure out how to do that? I'm going to click multiply, and guess what? It comes up with a synonym for it, which you know is product. Now, you're going to do it the same way that I showed you how to do the sum. I think, well, what am I doing the multiply for? Okay, so I'm going to do this product, okay? And then what am I multiplying? I'm, I'm taking this number, right? Okay? And then what, what am I, what am I timesing, right? I'm doing, right? And then I hit OK. And once again, it's very easy. Okay, so you can totally complete this. Um, you just always have to double check that you use the right cell numbers when you are putting stuff in and of course you're going to make it look very attractive but um, that's all there is to it folks now if you need me you are totally going to contact me I'm pretty decent at Excel I still have stuff to learn but I can help you out with that and remember my email is amanda.smithfield at mnps.org so uh, contact me and I will get back in touch with you if you send me your contact information and of course I'll be available in the library on Monday um, to help you out so that's all for now talk to you later